Hey YouTube, I'm Nick from Nick282K and today I'm going to show you another interesting quirk of digital infrared photography. Here I've got my uh, brand new infrared converted NEX Sony camera and uh, a cheapo soldering gun and I'm going to show that even though these uh, uh, digital infrared cameras that are converted to view uh, near infrared uh, don't normally see heat. Uh, you can actually observe black body radiation with one of these cameras uh, more readily than you can with your eyes or uh, a normal video camera. So here I'm heating up my soldering gun and in a moment you'll notice that the tip of the soldering gun will start to glow red. That's called black body radiation and the color of the light emitted by the steel is uh, directly related to the temperature of the steel. Uh, in the case of this camera, because it just views visible light, it'll glow uh, a dull red. You can just barely see it there. I'm going to turn off the lights and uh, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So there's the tip of the soldering gun, uh, just barely glowing red. I'm going to switch over to my infrared camera and uh, you'll get a better look of uh, how far into the near infrared spectrum that camera can actually see. So now we're looking at the uh, near infrared spectrum using my new converted digital infrared camera. And already you can see the uh, tip of the soldering gun is glowing bright enough that you can see the surface underneath it. You can even see the uh, details of the pegboard on my wall. So even though uh, a standard digital camera is converted to view infrared, doesn't really see heat like uh, an FLIR camera does, you can still see far enough into the uh, near infrared spectrum that you can use a hot piece of iron as a source of light. Oh. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.